rugby drama there certainly was. Argentina still standing through to the last 16 of the competition. Croatia have beaten Iceland, so Nigeria and Iceland exit the competition. Of course, huge sympathy for Nigeria. Uh, they did all they could in St. Petersburg tonight, but a moment of incredible magic from uh, Rojo gives Argentina the win. So there you go. Great scenes uh, for Argentina of joy, but, but scenes of devastation for Nigeria and their players. And Eamon, look, we, the, the, the mood in the studio beforehand, we didn't think that Messi would still be standing after tonight. They are, and he is. Yes, and I think this, these scenes we're seeing explain why the World Cup is unlike any other competition. Whole nations' emotions are engaged by this. Uh, it doesn't make sense, there are more important things in life. Yeah. But look at Lionel Messi, look at the Argentinian people, and then look at the Nigerian fans, and I'm sure in Nigeria how much they'll be hurting. And the nation engages in a way that it does with nothing else. And this is what the World Cup, it's when it's at its most dramatic uh, and most fascinating. It was a terrible game, and there were some bad performances. But Lionel Messi has everything in his life. Look at him there. He's just so happy, and that's priceless. Richie, pure drama. It was dramatic, it was frantic, particularly in that second half. These are the scenes, personally, I would have liked to have seen, or liked to have predicted at the start of the night. Messi still in the competition. We get to see him again in the second round. I think they have a very, very difficult task, a very different challenge than they had tonight up against France in the next round. There's so many weak points on the pitch. We believe it's chaotic off the pitch. At times, it's chaotic on the pitch. But they found a way. They did enough. Sympathy for Nigeria, but yeah. Argentina did it. Yeah, they are true. And, and Liam, actually, I don't see Sam Pauli there. I think I saw him just a full-time whistle went. I think I saw him heading back to the dressing room. Yeah, the which Argentina I thought, manager. I didn't see him shake hands with the Nigerian manager, which I thought was bad. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. But they're through with by the skin of their teeth. Absolutely. When you think that Royo, who's, as Brian said in commentary, he was having a nightmare, he was all over the place, indiscipline. I don't know what he was doing in the box. And there was a great cross in from Mikado, and he, he's, he's met it with his wrong foot, really. He's very yeah. left-footed, and he's buried it. And, you know, I feel sorry for Nigeria because they had a great chance. Uh, they also had the... Uh, uh, a penalty claim that went to VAR and for the first time the referee stood by his decision not to give it, you know, so drama in this World Cup so far has been incredible. It certainly has.